Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It is the end of June. How did that actually happen? Um, little disclaimer, I'm filming this slightly ahead of time because when you're watching this, I will be on holiday. So it's a week before the end of June, so it's a slight cheat, but these are the items I've been using all through June, so not really. So without further ado, guys, let's get into it. I'm getting quite good at remembering my nail polish to bring to show you guys. So if anybody asks, this nail polish is Cheeky Bird by Nails Inc. Unfortunately, it is was a limited edition. It was a QVC TSV exclusive about five, six years ago. And I have multiple bottles of it because I absolutely love it. For me, this is the perfect spring summer shade. It's like a turquoise blue green. Look it up on eBay. It's two coats of exquisiteness. So Cheeky Bird. You have my heart right let's get into the favorites this one is a rollover from last month because the eagle eyed of among you may have noticed in the photo on the may favorites video was a bottle of joe malone and i didn't actually talk about it because i actually talked about it for five minutes it turns out i didn't hit record i didn't notice until it went live and I saw the picture and I was like, oh God, I missed a bit out. And I was looking through my footage and it actually wasn't there. So I was rambling for five minutes to absolutely no one. Stupid. So anyway, this is Lime Basil and Mandarin by Jo Malone. Uh, was a favourite in May, has rolled over to June. It's a spring summer classic. It says what it is on the tin. It's, it's zesty, it's limey. It's got the earthiness of basil, so it's still quite spicy. It lasts for hours when you put it on. That's why there's like hardly any used. I did treat myself to this a little while ago and it's just, I've got it on today. Obviously, that's what I'm spending myself. It's amazing. And if you remember from May's favourites, I had the wild deodorant, which was the flavour I had at the time was like, uh, blood orange and mandarin and basil or something so it smells the same so handy so yeah uh loving that which then leads me very nicely onto this one i have just been sucked into this wild thing and i'm not sponsored or anything i do have a mention me code because when you buy anything from them you get a code to pass on to friends so i will link that below for you but you get 50 percent off with that code so with my 25% um, I got from you lovely people because you used the last mention me code for that I mentioned in the deodorant and I picked up the shower set. So I subscribe to this now. So if you don't know about Wild, basically they are a sustainable company that produce aluminium deodorant covers and they have refillable deodorants you put inside and they've done the same thing with shower gel so i've bought the wild aluminium shower um dispenser with my name on it i didn't realize it was five pounds extra to engrave it but i did um i bought it so it's great and what you do is you twist the top off and the bottles just fit i'm not going to take it all out but they fit nicely in i will send i will put a photo above of it and yeah, it just slots in nicely and you just twist it up and you're good to go. I use three pumps for my whole body and I use two rounds every day. So I don't know how long this is going to last me. Each one, I think, is 350 mil. I picked up the flavours Amber and Oud, because you know I love Amber, you know I love Oud. So I picked up those. This was in here now. I picked up Thunderstorm, which I have the deodorant of it, so I knew what it smelled like. And it's like a really fresh, watery, like, you know, the smell of rain. It's that beautiful, fresh smell. And I got vanilla and coconut because it's summer. That's what you do. Uh, so, yeah, I picked these up. So I really, really love it. The shower gel is gorgeous. It's really frothy. It leaves you feeling really clean. My skin's really moisturized afterwards. I always moisturize my skin after, but it doesn't leave your skin feeling dry. I'm a huge fan. Wild. I'm just wild for wild. <laughs> Next up is this lipstick that I am wearing. I always go for MAC because in my collection of lipsticks, and I, I have got quite a few, I've really tried to scale it back because obviously you've only got one pair of lips, but I do have lots of different eyeshadow palettes with different, that I've used different lipsticks with. 
And this one, I just grabbed it because I knew it was a neutral. I was wearing, I've been wearing lots of browns and bronzes in June. And I just forgot how gorgeous it is. And it's the Pat McGrath, uh, it's called Flesh, uh, Flesh Fatale. And it's the Blitz Trance Lipstick. I mean, the case itself is just so bougie. But the lipstick, it's got like a slight shimmer to it, but it's just a really lovely warm brown shade, like a reddy pinky brown. It's just gorgeous. And you can see the shimmer in it. Um, like Pat's eyeshadows, it's just another level. And I was like, why don't I wear this more often? This is gorgeous. I've been using this now for about three weeks and with pretty much every time I do my eyeshadows, because you know I change up my eyeshadow palettes every week. I've tended to stick with the Yucca palette by Tasha Denona, the Pat McGrath Sublime and the Pat McGrath Bronze Seduction. So this goes with all of those. But it's a really lovely lipstick. You don't have to blot it. It lasts for hours. If you eat and drink, obviously it can come off. But all in all, the Pat McGrath lipsticks, like her eyeshadow palettes, are amazing. I'm really glad that I rediscovered this in June and I will continue this into July. Now this is a cheat because there's two, but there's a reason that I'm doing the two. So if you watched my Battle of the Glowy Bases video a few weeks ago, now I'll link it below. Um, I gave this some very high scores. This is the Dior um, Forever Glow Star Filter. It's basically Dior's version of the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. I, showed, I chose shade number three, which I did think might be quite dark. However, it's perfect. And I love this one. It's so expensive though, it's 45 pounds. I did get a whopping discount on this, so I'm eternally grateful. But when I paired it with the Forever Matte Foundation, my skin has never looked better. These two are a marriage made in heaven, and I do recommend you use them together, obviously, because they're both Dior. But um, I wouldn't normally think to put a glowy base with a matte foundation because the point of the matte foundation is you want it matte right you can mix the two together if you want to i haven't actually tried that yet but i'm definitely going to whenever i've worn these together people have complimented my skin asked if i've had a facial asked what's going on honestly it's a dream um i, I know they're expensive together these would be 90 pounds so it's a lot but i don't use these every day this one is my as you know, it was my favourite foundation for many, many years, like seven years, until I discovered the um, Hourglass Ambient Light Foundation. I still love that, but I've realised they're two different foundations. The ambient lighting one is very glowy, it's very dewy. This one is just more satin coverage. It's got a higher coverage. I can't say one's better than the other because they do different things, but once I got this back in my life, and again, I got this discounted, very, very lucky. So, but I would splurge. These would last you, I wanna say, if you use them both every day, seven days a week, I reckon you'd get at least six or seven months out of these. The foundation lasts forever, and I have used this for many years, so I know what I'm talking about. This one, I don't know, but I'm assuming it's the same because, you know, they're the same size, they're the same bottle, everything. I use one pump of this and one and a half pumps of this whenever I do it together. But trust me when I tell you, I haven't got it on today. I will insert something of this together, of my completed makeup. But my God, it's a good look. My skin looks amazing. So yeah, highly, highly recommend those two together weird one for me because it's a nail product and it's quite a boring nail product but when i say this is life-changing <laughs> i'm really not exaggerating so for years and years i bigged up my cuticle clippers that i got on holiday in chicago in around 2010 or 11 i had them for centuries i still have them because i can't physically part with them but in comparison to my new cuticle clippers from this same company, they're trash, but I can't get rid of them because my I won't, I can't allow myself to. 
but I picked up cuticle nippers from Navy. Now, if you're on TikTok or Instagram or anything, any nail artist worth their salt uses Navy products. And they all have this gorgeous gold shade. They're handmade in Yorkshire, in England. But when I say these are the finest nail tools you will ever have, and they're not cheap, let me just warn you, first of all, these were more than I'd ever pay for cuticle nippers in my life. But after, anyway, let me explain. These are the sharpest, best hangnail nipper things in the world. So my cuticle nippers from Navy, I'll link all of them below, um, are phenomenal. They're called, I think they're the, I think it's the Doris tool. They all have names, but the cuticle nippers are amazing. No, I've got the Katie cuticle nippers. I've got, so I've, I've built this collection over about a year and a half. Cause like I say, these were like 48 pounds for cuticle nippers. I know, don't, 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 but they are life changing. When you do your own nails like I do, like when I say my nails have never looked better, they look so professionally done. If I went to a salon every two weeks and got a manicure, it cost me like 35 quid, right? So over time, I'm basically saving money. This is how I justify it to myself. So I got these, they had a 25% off sale. So I got these at 25% off, so that was brilliant. Then I also picked up the Ethel tool, which is a cuticle scraper. Sounds gross, but honestly, it's just my satisfying thing to use tools that are so well made. But these cuticle nippers are hands down, no pun intended, the best things I've ever used. They're so sharp. If you have the tiniest little bit of skin, this just nips it away and it's it makes your nails just look so much more professional. Um, I'll link all the navy tools that I have below, but these have been a favourite. I bought these back in beginning of May and I've been using them ever since. Every time I do my nails, every time I get a little hangnail, anything, these are the best things ever. Next up are the Elemis Dynamic Resurfacing Facial Pads. These have been really good. I have used these. I mean, there's 60 in here, and this is how far I've got with them. I've used most of them, so I, I know what I'm talking about. And I, I'm not going to say I've only been using them this month. I haven't. I've been using them for about two or three months, but I really wanted to include them in the favourites because I use them like three times a week. I don't use them every night, and they are basically cotton rounds. One side is like exfoliating, one side is flat and they're soaked in the dynamic resurfacing tonic. Um, if you know, you know. The Elemis dynamic resurfacing range is phenomenal. It's like a skin smoothing range. I've got the face wash. I have tried before the moisturizer. I've tried the essence. I'm getting that again because it's up in the new upcoming Elemis mystery bag. We're with Tilly, again, I'll link that product below if it's still available, it might have already sold out, but basically they're doing a whole bag of mystery products for 50 pounds and the value is 240 pounds. But the one item they tell you you're getting is the dynamic resurfacing essence. So, well, that's why I grabbed it because I was like, that's 64 pounds on its own. So I love the range, but these are brilliant. I'll link below the item number. Hopefully it still is active because QVC change up stuff a lot, but two of these at the moment you get for 48 pounds. And I think they're like 50 pounds for one or something, but they really, I use them after I use my LED mask at night. I use them um, two, three times a week. And in the morning when I, wake up my skin just looks clearer and like more smooth my skin at the moment is really really good and i haven't got a ton of makeup on like foundation and stuff i've got foundation on but it's quite a natural foundation at the moment i just don't need it like this when combined with my ultimate my you know my all over skin routine is really good so i highly recommend these and i have really sensitive skin if you have sensitive skin don't be afraid of elements and if with QVC, you get that 60 day money back guarantees. If your skin does react to it, you can send them back and get a full refund. So highly recommend these. Well, well worth the money. Last up is the item I showed you 
a few weeks ago. I think I might have done it on Instagram. Uh, no, I did it on Instagram. So I, I'm a big fan of 10 pound Tuesday with boots uh, is what it says on the tin. Every Tuesday for one day, they have that 50, 60 products that are 10 pounds for that day. This night cream was 30 pounds reduced to 10 pounds. So I had to try it. And it's L'Oreal Midnight Cream. And it's basically L'Oreal's version of the Estee Lauder Midnight range or whatever that's called. Um, you know, the brown bottle that looks exactly like this. And this is really nice. As you can see, I've been using it probably for like three or four weeks now. And it's so rich, it's so lovely, but it goes straight into the skin. And in the morning, my skin is plumper. It's got lovely color to it. It's a really good product. I would definitely get this again. Would I pay 30 pounds for it? Probably not, but not because it's not worth it. It's because L'Oreal. And I think if they're gonna sell it for 10 pounds, I'll just wait because 10 pound Tuesday comes around every week. And there's always one or two L'Oreal items in there. As you know, I love their eye creams. I get their eye creams a lot. So um, this is the L'Oreal Midnight Cream. You get 50 mil in there. It's gorgeous, highly recommend. And I love a good night cream that really, you can see a difference. And this, you can really see a difference. So well worth it. And that's it for the month of June. Um, it is July in a day or two that is crazy and I know that I'm on holiday right now so it's like a week before but even still like when I had to pack for my holiday I didn't even feel ready to I it doesn't feel like it should be this close or this quick or like we're actually there right now so if you follow me on Instagram I'll put my Instagram here um you can see all of the highlights and things I do highlight reels and stuff because you wouldn't catch the stories live because we're there but um yeah I really hope you enjoyed this if we film some footage over there and things I will make a video and incorporate it in you've already seen the makeup that I'm taking on holiday with me so you'll know what I look like <laughs> um so we will I'll, I'll figure something out we'll do something if you want to see what Norway looks like it's been it will be really be a really fun trip we love a little road trip so thank you so much for watching this video guys I really hope you enjoyed it as always everything is linked below don't forget to use the 50 percent off code for wild their deodorants and shower gels are awesome i oh cannot wait to try more from them thank you ever so much and i will see you next week for another video